Hello students, my name is Kumari Neha. I am working at Bharti Dasanar Matriculation Higher Secondary School, Arkonam. And the topic for today which I am going to take is from class 6, Chemistry. And the name of the theme is Introduction to Chemistry. And the lesson is Development of Chemistry. So today we are going to see the second part of this lesson. So second part of lesson is the notable person and their contribution to a uh, the chemistry right students so here we have discussed about how the chemistry is been evolved right so we should know what are the important people because this chemistry is getting evaluated or it's getting better and better each time so the first person which we are going to discuss about is henry cavendish so henry cavendish was a person who was the main person behind the development of chemistry so here you can see his face right so he is henry cavendish who is he henry cavendish so now he was born in france october 10 1731 he was born on october 10 1731 see your students october 10 1731 same way he was the person who described the value of universal constant of gravitation. He was the person who told about the universal constant of gravitation. So where this particular gravitation constant is used? So this particular value is used for the formulation or you can call it as it helped Newton to find what can be the gravity of two different masses. So after that, he discovered hydrogen gas and the composition of water. So what he did was, he did an experiment. In that experiment, he found out that every part of two hydrogen, he had taken one part of oxygen. What he had taken? Two part of hydrogen in that one part of oxygen. That is why the formula of water is H2O. Right students? Now, after that, he found out that whenever he is doing a particular object, when he is fermenting, fermenting means when he is keeping that particular object or chemical compound for a longer period of time, that time it got splitted. For example, here you can see that whenever I am taking, uh, you can take the example of H2O. When H2O is getting fermented, fermented means it is type of degradation you can call it as when h2o will degrade it will form h2 plus it will form o2 so this is called the fermentation or degradation of water molecules same way the final thing he discovered was he told that reversible reaction between calcium carbonate calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide to form calcium bicarbonate so here you can see the equation as calcium carbonate is CaCO3 which with added with carbon dioxide CO2 it was giving a reaction which is calcium CaH CO3 so right students so this is sodium or sorry it's calcium bicarbonate and calcium bicarbonate is the reason why the water becomes little rough it does not form any foam foam means lather right if you're taking that particular water and you're trying to rub it with the salt or soap it will not form any foam right so now let's talk about the second person so the second person is Anthony Lavoisier. What is the next person children? He is Anthony Lavoisier. So here you can see who is Anthony Lavoisier. So this person is Anthony Lavoisier. So when he was born, he was born on 26th August 1743. So 1743 he was born in France and he was younger to Henry Cavendish, the first virgin which we have talked about right later on you can see that 
what he discovered. So, Antony Lavoisier revolutionized the chemistry. Revolutionized means he gave a extra additional points that chemistry is a major subject which can be applicable in any part of the fields, right? Then the third thing is he named the elements carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So, students he was the person who discovered these elements. Already these elements were there, but he was the only person who has given the name. So, he has given name to carbon, that is C, hydrogen H and oxygen as O. So, these are the symbols of these elements, right? And the next one is, he discovered the role of oxygen in combustion and respiration. So, combustion means Oxygen is a very important element for the burning of an element, right? If your oxygen is present, only then the burning will take place. So, that is combustion. Same way, respiration, the people, us. And right now, we are breathing, right? What we will breathe? Maximum amount of oxygen we will breathe. So, this oxygen, when you breathe in, the role of that oxygen is being explained by Anthony Lavoisier. And the next part is, he gave the law of conservation of mass. So, students, law of conservation mass comes from its name. So, what is conservation? Getting back. So, here, what he did is, he took diamond. Diamond, when he added, or you can call it as heating it, that time he found that the small elements of the diamond, it got disappeared. But, when he was doing the experiment, he had weighed. This was a particular kind of weight or amount of the substance which he have taken. Now, after seeing for a longer period of time, he saw that di diamond is getting disappeared. Disappeared means it is getting lost. He cannot see the diamond in the jar now. So, what he did was he thought that everything has been evaporated or it has been gone. But when he compared the weight of this diamond with only the gas of diamond which he saw that it's disappeared he found out that even the gas of diamond was having the same weight that is why he is saying that the law of conservation of mass says that the mass m a s s mass of the reactant will always be equal to mass of product so, this is the law of conservation of mass, right? So, after that, he also said that a diamond and a charcoal is made up of only one kind of material. That one kind of material is carbon. What it is, children? It is carbon. So, carbon is the only material which can be found in different ways, that is, it can be a diamond or it can be coal. So, that is the main thing he found. He also found that whenever he is taking carbon or diamond, when he is heating this too, only one type of product or gas is formed. So, that gas which is formed is carbon dioxide. What is the gas children? Carbon dioxide, right? And the last thing he discovered was, he told the main difference between an element and a compound. So, what he did was, he said that element is a thing which is of one kind. So, element example I can take as H2, right? H2 is an element because two hydrogens are there, they are same. Same way, now he said that compound example of H2O. H2O why? Because two hydrogens are there and one oxygen is there, right? So, this was the discovery done by Anthony Lavoisier. So, next person which we are going to discuss about is Dmitry Mendeleev. So, Dmitry Mendeleev is this person. This person was the person who was the greatest part of chemistry evolution. Why? Because first of all we will see when he was born. So, he was born on February 8, 1834. On February 8, 1834, he was born. So, and he was born in Siberia, right? And 
the next point which we are going to discuss is that he was the person who attended the first chemistry international meet in Germany and in that he told that he had few elements that was 65 elements so that 65 elements people asked him to write on a board in that board he wrote the names of that elements right after naming that they he saw that few elements are having the same number of or you can call it as same properties because he wrote the name and the property of the element later on he sees that as the atomic weight increases the property remains same so that was the main thing which he proposed and because of him only the main thing which was proposed was that periodic table so first periodic table was formed by Mendeleev so that is why it's also called as Mendelian uh, periodic table and the last and not the least is when he died after that even any few elements were formed they gave the name as Mendelevium what they gave is Mendelevium right so now let's come to the next person so here is Robert Boyle so students see he is Robert Boyle you will be thinking that he is a girl right no he is not a girl he is a guy and he was born on 25th January 1677 in Ireland. Ireland is a place somewhere related in occupied in Europe, right? Then he proved that sound does not travel in vacuum. So students, vacuum is a particular kind of place where there will be no air. It is an empty space. Same way, later on he gave in 1662, he gave and proposed a law which was called as Boyle's law. So what is Boyle's law? So Boyle's law is nothing but P1, V1 is equal to P2 and V2. Here he have compared two things in which the pressure of one element and the pressure of second element with the same volume is always equal so that is the Boyle's law right and the next thing which he have seen is he also discovered the flame test and he gave the acid base in the indicators in the chemistry field so acid base indicator is a type of material which is specially used to indicate or to find which particular element is an acid or which particular element is a base same way next he told a septical chemist. So septical chemist is a book which he have written. In that book, he have given the main concept behind the chemistry and how the particular kind of chemistry got evolved, right? So now let's come to the last person. So last person is John Dalton. So John Dalton, I hope you people know who is John Dalton. So see the image right so he is john dalton so when he was born kids he was born on 6 september 1766 in united kingdom united kingdom is also uk right after that he was the only person he gave the law of partial pressure see students what is partial partial means half half or less than half so he gave the law that if the partial pressure is applied on a subject or an object what can happen and that law was formulated in 1801 the second one or the third one you can call it as he was best recognized for his work in atomic theory so he was the only person or you can call it as the first person who told about the atoms he told the atoms of the very small particles which cannot be divided or which cannot be formed or it cannot it's called an indivisible particle and he told that there are no subatomic particles present in an atom same way he also researched for color blindness the people who have differentiation in seeing the colors they are called color blind people it's not a deficiency but you can call it as it is a particular kind of uh, non uh, particular thing where you will not identify which color it is especially this will happen when the colors like blue red and green is observed they will see a different kind of color whenever these colors are projected so and he successfully
successfully identified the chemical compounds he told that chemical compounds and whenever they are going under a reaction that time they will do a high kind of reaction plus there will be a new kind of product formed so he also said that whenever he is taking two kind of element that time these things will happen right so students now we have discussed about the different types of or the five types of people who are very notable or which are very important for the development of chemistry right so we have talked about all of them so students i hope you have enjoyed the session in the session whatever things i have discussed you can go down in the description box and check the study material question bank and self assessment after watching this video you can go to the self assessment and check how much you have understood i hope you have enjoyed the class bye bye for this the supplementary topic is with the water this is the fourth unit in the 11th standard uh, what is that with the water written by stephen leo what's the name stephen leo the characters in the main story the only two characters that we have got in the story that are the photographer and the narrator who is the narrator of the story stephen leo in the story is going to explain the troubles and the obstacles and our, what are the weakness that we face to the way we express our views our expression everything so we have to think according to the needs of the photographer the same manner here the narrator encounters another photographer another photographer a professional photographer to take his photograph he is around 40 years old man who wants to take his photograph after his death the dear near ones they keep his photograph or his memory that's why he arrives to the doctor he arrives with the eyes of leaves everything let me live as i am living okay but never change the thing i don't want to live in here artificial world i want to live i want to live in here real world